Patients on home dialysis who have to stick needles into their own veins will welcome the introduction of a special short needle. This AV fistula set is new from Avon Medicals and incorporates these features. A shorter needle for easier insertion, avoiding the traditional deliberate threading into the vein. A special mono-wing grip, allowing swift introduction and avoiding skin contact. And a stabilizing unit to assist in connecting the bloodlines. Let us follow our patient through his routine. Having checked that everything he needs is to hand, he applies his tourniquet. It is traditional to use a local anesthetic to precede the introduction of fistula needles. But with these special short needles, the need for a local has been greatly reduced. When they're introduced swiftly, the action is relatively pain-free. Having cleaned an area of skin with ether or alcohol to provide a dry base for the stabilizer, he removes the protective cover of the adhesive base plate and loosens the red occluding plug. He removes the needle guard and double checks the red plug. Holding the special mono wing grip firmly, the needle is stabbed cleanly and smoothly in one swift motion into the vein. The stabilizer is then firmly fixed onto the skin. He's now ready for his second needle. This procedure is carried out in just the same way. A successful puncture is indicated by pulsating blood seen at the needle hub. When correctly introduced, there should be no seepage of blood around the needle. The needle set has no fluid in the tubing and is sealed. This permits repuncture without the risk of hematoma formation, as no heparin has been added. We can illustrate the technique more clearly by taking a look at another patient. This needle is cleanly inserted with a single action straight along its angled flight path. In slow motion, it is possible to see again the smoothness of the insertion. The patient under training must avoid any hint of threading the needle into the vein. Now his second needle, a clean, direct insertion. The slow motion version gives us another opportunity of observing the complete insertion technique. The stabilizing unit must be placed firmly onto the skin to produce a curvature of the silicone rubber tubing. To complete the procedure, he wraps adhesive tape around the stabilizer and completely around his arm. A lightweight occlusive bulldog clip is applied to the silicone rubber tubing close to the stabilizer and by pushing the tapered end of the stabilizing coupler into the skin, our patient is able, single-handed, to remove the red occluding plug and connect the syringe containing his heparin loading dose to the coupler. He can then remove the bulldog clip and introduce the heparin. He puts back the bulldog clip close to the stabilizer and removes the syringe. He picks up the red plug from its sterile dish and replaces it in the end of the stabilizer. Our patient is now ready to couple himself to his dialyzer and commence dialysis. A safe, single-handed joint between the bloodline and the needle is of vital importance during unattended dialysis. He will achieve a firm union by pressing the point of the angled coupler into the skin. This clearly demonstrates the principle of the remote stabilizing unit, as the action does not disturb the needle tip within the lumen of the vein. The joint can be checked by gently tugging on the tubing. The blood then flows out of the patient, priming the dialyzer and the blood tubing sets. He switches off the blood pump when the venous line is filled with blood. This single-handed coupling technique gives the fistula patient complete independence compared with standard needles where, although the patient may stick himself, he requires a third hand to make a secure joint. 
Needless to say, this easier method of self-introduction and safer single-handed connection will facilitate the goal of independent fistula dialysis. It will also reduce the risk of hepatitis spread to nursing staff or partners in home dialysis. Our patient disconnects the venous line from the machine and joins it securely to the venous needle. Again, pressing firmly on the stabilizer without fear of disturbing the needle. The blood flow which can be obtained during dialysis is in the order of up to 400 cc's a minute with a 14 gauge needle only 15 millimeters long. Because of the remote stabilization, the movement of the short needle within the vein is reduced and permits increased freedom of movement. Certainly with our patient here, the amount of moving around he's doing does not have any effect on his treatment. The new flexible needle from Avon Medicals is inserted directly in one swift stabbing motion, eliminating any painful threading into the vein. The remote stabilization of the needle permits movement of the limb without disturbing the needle. The patient has considerably more freedom during the period he is attached to his dialyzer. He can be confident that the short needle is kept firmly in position and will not come out accidentally. The site itself will remain completely bloodless. All these things permit our patient to sleep comfortably at night in a normal position with less stress and fewer of those false alarms due to sleep movement.